Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today I'm installing a Rivati uh, soap dispenser, and this is what it looks like right now. It's just sitting here, and it is actually not installed yet. And I'm gonna show you just the step-by-step -step process uh, for how to install this guy. It's uh, pretty straightforward, and this is also just kind of doubles as a review, so you can see the quality of this uh, before you purchase it. I'll leave a link in the description to this exact soap dispenser if you're interested. Now right off the bat I can tell you that this feels very quality. Uh, I've had other uh, soap dispensers that I've felt and they are extremely lightweight. Uh, now this one is made of, it seems like very solid metal and you can even see here how thick this metal is on top and it's not, uh, it's not metal coated plastic, it's actual solid metal build. Uh, so that's that right there. Now as you saw I just pulled this out of its base here. Uh, and that means that in order to refill this guy, all you have to do is pull the top off and fill the reservoir. Here's the reservoir right here, and that just simply threads onto the bottom after we have installed it. Uh, now we have a nut that threads on to hold the uh, soap dispenser in place, as well as a gasket, which goes on the bottom. So we're gonna start by just uh, setting this in place and uh, then uh, right here also this is just the the straw slash hose that goes down into the bottle so you can uh, extract the soap so we're gonna set this in place right over here and then go down below all right we made it down under here and we've got our rubber gasket and our brass nut and we're gonna reach up here and do our best to get it on I apologize, you're not able to see much here. Uh, I'll come back once I get it started. All right, I did manage to get that started. I am gonna say that if you have a second person uh, close by, it would make it a lot easier to have someone hold the top while you get it threaded on the bottom. Now we're gonna use this uh, wrench here to reach up in there and get a hold of the nut and give it and get it a little bit tighter. Obviously make sure that you have your soap dispenser positioned up top before you get it really tight. Uh, so this, I'll leave a link in the description to a tool just like this one if you're interested. Alright so we've got it uh, up there and locked on and now I grab a hold of the bottom of this handle and rotate in order to tighten and I need a second hand to do that so that's how it goes on there though in case you're wondering. Now you can also uh, just snug it from up here a little bit too just by hand and uh, found that that was actually uh, almost as effective as trying to get the wrench onto it up there. It's just tricky and then as long as it feels secure like it's not going anywhere then you should be good to go to proceed with just um, putting the rest of it together. So we're gonna put the uh, straw on there and you make sure that the grooved side of the straw faces down towards the bottom of the bottle. That holds it so that it uh, doesn't come, so that it, it allows the soap to come through the straw without getting plugged on the bottom of the jar. So uh, that is ready to go. Now we're going to go down below and uh, thread the bottle on. Kind of a creative view for you there. And it's pretty simple. Just get it started in. It has an O-ring that does the work of the ceiling. So it doesn't have to be, you don't need thread tape or anything else. You just need to get the bottle snug in here. That's all you need to do. That's good. All right. Now, last step, just take the Rivati assembly and drop it in. Now initially it, you need to push it a little bit harder to make it snap into place, just like so. And now that it is snapped in there, it is set to go. 
just fill it up with soap and uh, you should be good. This is a, a really smooth action on this. It's very even pressure the whole way. It doesn't really get stuck or feel like there's any spots that are rough. So that's been it. That's our Rivati soap dispenser. Uh, they're pretty reasonable price. I think they're like 20 bucks or so. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description to that. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please rate it up and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And we'll talk to you in the next video.